this waterfall, the easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. That was a long one. And when I say long one, like really a long last couple weeks. We've been going hard, hard, hard for the last couple weeks, all the way from the finishing of the epic wreck pond all the way in the back. So proud of it, so proud of the way everybody came together and how incredible it looks. Even felt better, it felt kind of flower and garden show like with everybody coming in just saying, ooh, wow, wow. So you guys, thanks for all the accolades and the support. Hopefully it inspired you guys to do something different. Then right from that, jumping into this epic feature with the artist of the year coming in, being able to trust those guys 100% with their vision, them working with me so many times, so many different years, knowing exactly what I was looking for and then them taking it to its fullest potential. And how can you say anything but wow. It's just absolutely amazing. I love the whole introduction of it. I love that move, that bus, and everybody coming in and even seeing the expression on hundreds of people's faces back over here. As soon as the bus moved and the curtain dropped and people were just being like, <laughs> it was so worth it. Hopefully those guys all really enjoyed working on it and they've got something permanent here for the rest of Aquascape's life, which would be just amazing. Pond tours. We had pond tours and I'm so like, I think what I love so much about the pond tour is this is what Pondemonium started from. Way, way, way back when we would do the pond tours. We've always done the pond tours, but people from different parts of the country were coming in to come see different projects and get inspired. And then at one point, Greg said, if people are coming in, why not do classes? And then we got a away from the pond tour part of it. Now we're starting back with the pond tours. It's such an awesome icebreaker. Everybody comes in, gets inspired, gets to see things, gets to meet different people, travel around together. I know people just started carpooling with each other. It was awesome. I know there was the bus tour. That went great. <laughs> Love, love the pond tours and I love our customers. I think what I like about the pond tour too is that our customers feel really, really good about the ooh, ah, and wows that they get in their backyard from people from Canada, from people from Australia, from people from Texas and California and Utah, all over the world coming in to see their backyard. And then right away we go from pond tours into artist of the year, classrooms, food trucks, rain. I mean, Monday was fun, but man, Man, what a way to like beat you down a little bit. But lots of energy and the energy is what keeps us going over and over and over, night after night after night. So I wanna thank everybody that comes out here with such a positive attitude. I know it's a huge commitment for you guys. So keep that energy positive and we'll keep doing this. Which then brought us right into Tuesday, which was more classroom. <music> We thought we were tired Monday night. It wasn't anything compared to what we felt like on Tuesday. But again, the energy just keeps us going. So we had our Artist of the Year panel. We had maintenance classes. We had story time with Greg and Brian.
year CAC build up front was something that was long overdue. We needed a filter system on Greg's trophy lily pond out there, but it had no circulation on it. So one, we needed an intake bay. The intake bay is the area where that holds the pump and it's gonna suck all that debris off the surface. More importantly, give us some circulation through it. The intake bay that sends the water all the way to a wetland filter on the other end. And I knew those guys would put their artistic touch on that wetland filter. So it wasn't gonna be just a big gravel bed. They had free reign to use any rock they saw on Aquascape property and I know they did that. So they got in there, got it all excavated out, got the fabric, the liner, the snorkel, the centipede, the rock and gravel, and then started getting fancy with it all over the place. It looks incredible. More importantly now, we've got a lily trough that works, got circulation. So that's something that's done. Now we get to come in and make it look pretty with some landscape and bushes and everything else. So that'll be a fun video at some point down the road. We had to pivot hard on Monday for the waterfall contest. The waterfall contest was supposed to start sometime after one o'clock and go from one till about four. But we had to pivot because the rain was coming. And we knew if we tried to do the waterfall contest after the rain or during the rain, it would be an epic mess. So we jumped right in. Everybody got to meet each other. Chris Hansen did such a good job emceeing the thing. A collaboration of different teams. I think there was over 20 teams that competed against each other. Some guys with a little bit of experience, some guys with a lot of experience, some guys with zero experience. Here's the one thing I know. All of them look fantastic. Yes, there's always a clear winner, but all of them look really good. I know every single one of those, any homeowner would be proud to have in their backyard. Absolutely love it. I think it's a great team building exercise. It's a great form and training thing, just the way you have to work with different personalities, different skill sets, different levels. And that's what it was all about. It's supposed to kind of be an end to the form and training and make people work together as a team to get something magical done. While that was going on, you had the guy from Serp, that big giant monster truck, ATV, all-terrain, aquatic, mo I don't even know what it is, but it is crazy. You got a good handle right here and, and right here. <laughs> Thing was giving rides to people all day long, just going in and out of our lily pond. At first, I know Chris and I were a little upset because of the amount of mud that was being carried all over Aquascape, but at some point you just had to throw in the towel and say, yeah, that's pretty cool. And so then to wrap up Pondemonium, right, everybody's been 100% engaged from 6.30 in the morning till way hours into the night. Some responsible people go to bed around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Some irresponsible people push it to one o'clock, two o'clock, even three o'clock in the morning, I heard a couple nights, and then get up and do it again. And so the last night, just to say thank you to all these contractors, we do a big blowout bash. And the blowout bash is always so much fun. There's bags tournaments, there's people singing, there's people dancing, there's people eating, well, drinking. There's just so much fun. Everybody's hugging everybody. Everybody's saying goodbye for the last time, saying I can't wait to see you again next year, which is exactly where I'm gonna leave it with you guys. I can't wait to do it again next year. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming. We'll see you all soon, bye.